Without revealing your age, what video game did you play the most? Roller Coaster Tycoon You're all 30 Weird name for a video game That game sucks. All you do is go through life with failed relationships, depression, and debt. I personally don't recommend it. Age of Empires 2 That's a trick answer. You could still be anywhere between 12 and 42 years old. GoldenEye 007 on N64 Spyro the Dragon I recently purchased it and am replaying the trilogy. Spyro is so cute. Spyro and Crash Bandicoot were my shit when I was a kid. Little tip that may help you if you do not already know, if you push down on the stick you steer with sparks will point to the nearest gem. I had a hard time getting to 100% without that little nugget of information. Sometimes you just can't see the green gems when they're in the grass. In the PS1 games he only does this when you defeat Ripto, so you can finish the game, and in Year of the Dragon he can do this from the beginning, but I think you had to hold down all the R and L buttons. Or was it just R3 and L3? It's been so long. I like that he can do this in all the games including one in the reboot, but I've played through so many times I just intuitively know where the gems are. The one level that gives me trouble is Cloud Spires in Year of the Dragon. Teresa very elusive blue 5 gem. In the Augie did you had to finish the Spider Town Sparks minigame. Super Mario Bros. 3. It's still my favorite game of all time. I sold my copy of SMB3 to a mail-in game reseller for a new game. My mom hadn't finished the game yet and it was a game we played together. She was mad. She is gone now and this is one of my biggest regrets. I was a stupid thoughtless kid. Edit, thanks for the comments guys. Some made me laugh, some made me cry. All were encouraging. Duck Hunt Did you know on the NES if a second player joins they can play as the ducks? I learned this from Reddit, now I need to find a nest to try it on. Be forewarned though, the zapper won't register a flat screen television for the purposes of hitting the ducks. You'll need to get a CRT as well, unfortunately edit, ducks, but also fucks. I'm guessing ducks is a typo. But it's funny how it still totally works. Crash Bandicoot World of Warcraft You are 33. I have the same answer. I'm 36. WoW released right after I graduated high school. 37, same answer only because I've already had my birthday this year. What's sad though? I had 365 days played on my hunter before the Burning Crusade. Yes, I had one literal year of being logged in and playing the same character after the game had been out for two years. Addiction sucked. It still sucks, but it sucked back then, too. My older brother had a plate amount that was similar to yours. He had those days hours minutes tattooed onto an arm to remind him of how much time he had, in his mind, wasted. He took his life in 2013. He would have turned 38 this year. Duck bipolar disorder. Diablo 2. I also waited for a while for it to come out. I played Diablo 2 with my mom when I was in kindergarten. She later told me that she only played it because it was so cute how I cheered for her and without me she would always get lost in the dungeons. D. Tetris. I still have my Tetris on my original Game Boy. I used to play every night as a kid and not go to bed till I cleared a minimum of 100 lines. I play now on my kid's Switch and they can't believe how good I am at it. LOL. Did you ever read about the woman who would casually play it on Game Boy on road trips? Her husband was a reporter and was doing a story on people trying to set old school gaming records and discovered his wife's usual is about 1.5x the world record. I didn't read that, but in college I dated a guy who was extremely confident in his Tetris prowess, often bragging about people head beater while completely wasted. It took a few years for us to do head to head, but let me tell you. I was better. Ah, to have the confidence of that man. Watching a friend of mine play Dr. Mario is like watching Jordan play basketball in the 90%. She has to be in the 0.1% of players. When she plays, she starts at level 20 and goes on from there. In college, 
her roommate would bring guys back and her roommate would tell them she would sleep with them if they could beat her at Dr. Mario. None ever did. Snake Game on Nokia Pitfall It was the coolest video game ever made up to that point. Edit, hello fellow pitfallers. I bought Pitfall when it came out in 1982, and 15-year-old me spent countless hours trying to jump, run and swing to the other end of the jungle. Remember having to take a photograph of your high score, get the film developed, then send the paper photo in to log your high score? Super Mario 64 Yes. And Banjo-Kazooie. Minecraft Yoshi's Island Heroes of Might and Magic 3 Edit Wow I didn't know so many people played still plays this game. Thank you for all the love on this comment. I haven't played Home 3 in years and this makes me want to play again. StarCraft Brood War Toss up between this and Diablo 2 for me. Skyrim So you're between 8 and 82 years old. Actually Shirley Curry is an avid Skyrim player and she's 85 smile so I'd say 82 isn't the upper limit there. The video game I played the most doesn't even come close to revealing my age. The first video game I played probably does though. Edit, played the most, Total War, Rome. Played first, Super Mario Bros. Same here. I wasn't setting my play time limit when was I was young. I really got into RimWorld and Crusade Kings too, as an adult. I played Oregon Trail on a 312 inch floppy, the computer had a physical lock, it wouldn't boot up past a certain point if it was locked. Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego is another popular 3.5 inches floppy game I played a lot of. Some other more obscure titles from back then I liked were Numbers Crunchers and Midnight Mystery, called something like that. Edit, I think these were on 8 inches floppies not 3.5 inches. Super Smash Bros. Baldur's Gate Counter-Strike, Source Hell yeah, surprised I haven't seen more CSS 1.6 comments. 1.6 shaped my entire life. Started playing when I was 11. Made my own servers when I was 14. Servers needed a website, so I made one. Servers needed a static IP and some fun mods to gain a player following, so I had to learn some basic networking and how to install and configure mods. Met awesome people along the way too. I still play CS to this day, when I am almost 32, and I work in it. Would never have happened without CS. Doom and Duke Nukem. Halo 2. I might have a college degree if Halo 2 never existed. I had a midterm I absolutely could not miss on release day. The class was practically empty, and missing was my buddy who skipped the test to stay up all night to play. I left the campus like a bat out of hell when I finished the test. Honestly good job, Temptation's a bitch but in no way should someone skip a test in college uni for something that would be waiting for them when they got home. Lemmings Sonic TF2 Edit, Team Fortress 2 Pokemon Blue Version EverQuest Same. It's not even close. Most addictive game I ever played. A friend of mine was a raid leader and would piss in pickle jars on raid days. Not to mention the sheer amount of time spent camping a mob. I probably spent more time waiting on shit than actually playing anything. LOL. Sims 4. Maybe Sims 3, I accidentally resetted my hour count once, so it could be more than in Sims 4. My soul was blown away by how many hours I put into Sims while somehow hardly ever playing the game. 90% of my time goes into creative mode, making sims and building things around town. Same. The house building could be its own game and I would buy and play it. Commander Keen. Pokemon Gold. Frogger. Wow. I can narrow this down to 24 to 60. Nah. Back in Kata I raided with a 66-year-old proper British grandmother. She took up the game to play with her grandson who moved to the US. He quit and she stuck with it. I also knew a couple who had their 11-year-old son do their dailies for them. He loved it. My dad played till he passed away at 78.